the weather gods are keeping us guessing. There's a little bit of cloud cover on the horizon, but not too much, so things may look a bit promising. Guys, the eclipse is about uh, just over an hour away. Um, how are you feeling at the moment? I'm really excited. It's going to be something I've never seen before. Fantastic. And where are you from, Debbie? Um, the United States, New York State, upstate. Okay, Manchester. and you come here specifically for the eclipse? Yes, my daughter's running in the marathon this morning. <laughs> have you heard the um, heard about the infamous bump track, which you'll be I running I have up? heard about this, but I don't know a whole lot, so I'm quite excited to see what it's all about. Good stuff. And you hold out much promise for the um, for the eclipse. Uh, there's been a bit of talk about the, the weather closing in. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're just really hoping, I think everyone, that uh, it clears up enough that we're able to see something that most people won't ever be able to see, or from this angle as well. Adriana, you've got um, one of the more unique ways of seeing the eclipse this morning. Um, tell us what you're up to. Oh, yeah, we're going to go out with the kayak, paddling out. Look, it's awesome. Perfect conditions. Yeah. Our stage was a bit rough, so we were a bit worried about that. That's but no, it looks brilliant today. And hopefully we will have an awesome view when the sun is up and we have the total eclipse for two minutes, yeah! Mick, morning of the eclipse, the sun's just rising. How are you feeling, mate? Yeah, no, a little bit toey, actually. I look along this beach and see so many people streamed along waiting for the eclipse to happen. It's just terrific, terrific. Good for That's Port Douglas, another beautiful morning. Great for Port Douglas. Good to see so many bodies here, yes. Yeah. And you're a solo eclipse marathon volunteer. What are you up, what are you up to yeah, today? Yeah, I'm uh, at the top of the bump track, my favourite spot. Um, doing the wristbands for the halfway in the marathon. Okay, and you, you'll expect to see some pretty sore and tired people at the top of the bump track on the landing. Yeah, we've got a few gags we'll crack on them and uh, try and see if we can get a smile on their face. You're a heartless man. How do you reckon you'll be feeling in about three hours' time? Drunk. <laughs> See you all finished a 42 kilometer adventure marathon. No, if you, and if you have enough time down to here, get I'm pub. actually wearing the badge of red. The Half <laughs> marathon. Right, and that's probably not a good thing shame. to ask him to film down there. <laughs> <laughs> down under. Yeah. Okay, we've got, we've got a good, we're, yeah. very good zoom on this camera, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, Steve, you were saying last night that uh, you don't normally sleep well before a race. Is that the same again? That's about right. Yeah. All those, that nervous anticipation, so it's a bit of adrenaline, a bit of that. Old, I remember those races, you know, back in the day when I used to uh, be very competitive. So all of that stuff just heading around in your mind means you don't sleep very yep. well. And no different last night. And will that compet competitive spirit sort of revive itself today, do you think, with the, um, the atmosphere down here on Four Mile Beach? Well, it is exciting, I've got to say. You, where else would you want to be on, on today? This morning, probably this is the best place to be in the world. Nick, um, how hard is it to, to sort of prepare yourself for an event like this? You've, you, I know you've been in training for about six months and the day's finally here. How, how hard is it to live up to those expectations on the day? Yeah, it's not too hard at all. My coach is very good at keeping me in line, so it's one of those you know, unique occasions and it's, we've got a cracking day for it, so um, it's going to be really, really cool to see it. And, um, yeah, we'll really lap it up and, and just relax before the race. And yeah. well, We'll see you at the finish line, guys. Good luck. Thank you. Well, I think this is pretty amazing. This is my first marathon ever. And I can't, I can't describe it. It's just beyond words. Not only did I come to Australia for, for the people as well as the sites, but I also came to run my first marathon and to see my first total eclipse. So this is going to be brilliant. And it's happening now. So let's cast our eyes to the skies. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
guys. We've just come from out the other side of the eclipse. What did you uh, What did you think? Yeah, pretty good. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. It's uh, It was cool to finally have it uh, here, and we were all here. It was really amazing. And the atmosphere with thousands of people yeah. around you? Yeah. I mean, if you look down the beach, there's literally, I don't know, thousands and thousands of people. So it's great for the region, great for Port, and uh, thrilled to be a part of it.